we're going to study the law of sines, the ambiguous case, right? We're going to go into depth besides the law of sines and see how a triangle is split in two. As you can see here, we have a triangle that has a side A, B, C, angles A, B, and C. And then we're going to see the formula, which is sine A equals uh, height um, C, height uh, side C divided by B, and the same thing for sin B. And then you come down together, and this gives you the formula, right? Which is B divided by sine of B and equals A sine of A, and then C sine of C. So here we have an example of a problem, right? That would be um, uh, angle C equals to 30, and then B equals to 30 meters, and then C equals to 20 meters. And right here we have the triangle that consists of the what we were just given. Then we plug in the angles and we do law of sines to get one angle. And then we, when we get the angle, we subtract by adding these two and then subtract it all by 180 to get the other angle. But right here, since it's an ambiguous case, we come together to this part right here where there's two triangles because it's possible. 49 divided uh, minus uh, 180 equals 131. So right here we have both triangles, and as you see, ACB, ACB, and they both have the same sides, only s angles B are different, which gives you different outcomes in the rest of the angles. And from these two, all you need to do is law of signs, and you have your answer for both triangles.